invitation came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice echoed in your mind. With us, you requested your attendance in Faerun, to gather with your friends and allies, those who stood against the Absolute at your side. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. There's something strange in your old friend's mouth. What is it? familiar invitation. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. But it isn't a ball. It's the astral prism. He whines. Less talk, more throw. Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. In all likelihood, it will be. But we mustn't let that stop us. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more... ...substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but they're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. Father's making himself useful. 
helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. You should see the amount I have now. He's been waiting years for this. Now he can't stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. As am I. And no small bit surprised, also. Part of me is afraid I'll wake up from the dream and find myself back in the wilds, or worse, at the cloister. But no, it's real. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. I'm glad you two have each other. Hells, I'd be almost tempted to come along if you'd have me. Perhaps if your adventures ever lead you out of Avernus permanently. Hopefully these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. Don't remind me. Someone's always got somewhere else to be. But let's do our best, all the same. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Oh, before you go, how does a red dragon plan their day? They don't. They just wing it. <laughs> Sorry. My father's got years of terrible jokes stocked up that he never got to tell me when I was younger, but lucky for him, I've never heard them. And seemingly, I am easily amused. As if you'd have me any other way. Go on, you've got mingling to do. I'll work on my punchlines some more. He looks coyly at the ground, suddenly shy. He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming fighting a many-limbed creature or dancing. It's unclear. He is, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. The joy in the Albert's eyes is clear. He longs for a home and would love to stay with Shadowheart. Oh, now there's a face I here. know well indeed. Ah, oh, it's the star of the show. Our humble protagonist who forsook Baal to save the city. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Busy as ever. 
Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? I, me, it's all Volo as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Mm -hmm. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Ah, it's good to meet again. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now, our paths cross once more. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. Well, I am not normally given to imbibing. But this is a special occasion. And I believe our dear Withers procured a fine honey mead as part of the celebratory victuals. Even the most ascetic of nature servants would be tempted by such an elixir. But that can wait. Your company is what truly drew me. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony, stronger together. In a manner of speaking, yes. Though it is a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated, true balance is no simple, fixed thing. Hmm. I see that now. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but... I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat given the lifetime I have lived. 
I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. But I hope that time is quite a while off yet. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me, but more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods, as far as I'm concerned. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Oh, I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. <laughs> ah, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing, huh? An empty throne. 
thanks to you. The city will not be long in burying it. Baldorian simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two, if they don't expel her. Again. I suppose I am. Though they seem determined to make me redundant. Mistake me not. There is still much to be done. Plans to make, maps to be frowned over. But my children are more than capable of doing it. Even the young ones tire of me peeking over their shoulders. This night offers them a brief respite from me, at least. And this place, now I look at it, it is where you all spent your first night together, no? A fine spot for an adventure to begin. A fine spot indeed. Just a little wonder, perhaps, to stretch the legs. I'll find my way back, as I always do. I admit defeat. Baldur's Gate is my home. But that is the thing about home. The only way to see it clearly is to leave and look back. For a little while, at least. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Garlak is lucky to have you. ...and know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells... ...it will only be because you freed yourself first. But... ...there will be more to discuss on that matter. First... ...I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? <sighs> then again, maybe we won't sleep at all. Come here, you goon. got a night in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. Me too, my love. See you soon. Oh, hey. Before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. 
Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. You may remember my old friend Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. Withers has a keen eye for a nice vintage. Why were we scrounging in barrels and pits for supplies you when see, we could boo? source these? I told you a friend was near. Oh, I remember one evening when we had to eat 14 apples, some fish heads, and a stale loaf of bread just to get by. <sighs> I've missed wine. Had to resort to making my own cider recently, which... Isn't bad, don't get me wrong. But a girl can't have fun with apples alone. Oh, hell's what? What another adventure is it? I'm quite content with my semi-retirement. The Albert. Of course I'll have him. If he wants to come with me, that is. I'd have offered sooner, but everything was a blur after the battle. I thought he'd gone to Rome free. I'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of my cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere, as long as he gets along with the other animals. Well, now I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? You're a bad influence, you know. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. Don't be a stranger. Boo! We are not dreaming! It is our old friend! What is reuniting with old comrades, if not the stuff of dreams? <laughs> uh, but Minsk is full-clothed, so this must be no vision. Y you will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets, while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> I... Uh, execution, says Boo, though I, I am not sure of the difference. It is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? Uh, she told Minsk and Boo to behave themselves, which is why we shall be back in our cell by dawn. But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration and the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? it would mean to find a cure for Karlak's heart exactly her heart would be cured oh when this day comes you must come and bunk with Minsk and Boo there is much merriment to be made before the night is done go and greet the others Minsk shall make himself presentable ah this pond shall do nicely Boo though I see no soap so you shall have to blow the bubbles for me
Oh, hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. Suppose I'll get back to it then. There you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? You take a deep breath, but you don't notice anything beyond the ordinary. By the good gods, how bad do I reek? Oh shit. Dried devil's blood. Stinks like a skunk squatting in an Aboleth's corpse. No wonder. The three of us have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who'd have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping Avernus for good? If those blueprints work, we might be able to fix Karlak, and she might be able to go home to Faerun. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch, and he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words, no tadpole needed, Bane's Chosen primed the Fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, He's teaching the Fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I think the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. Well... That's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. So you made it! <laughs> now it really is a party. Well, look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you, straight from the hells, still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from someone of your talents. You always brought a whiff of madness to the battlefield. <laughs> I do miss it. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people, instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. I'm still me, after all. <laughs> Hardly. Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. You know, it's funny. 
At first, I thought I was trapped by the shadows, cursed to live in them forever. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made, by what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. That being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. A most welcome sight. The Hell's Walker returns. For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. I never imagined we'd be standing toe to toe on this day, in this place. Nothing but allies, I always told myself. A necessary partnership. But in spite of every strained word, every barbed glance, seeing you brings me even more pleasure than taking a Royal Inquisitor's head. A bit. It's taken a dozen gishes turns. A few stolen psi crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. There is Minyaragith. Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai. An exiled people. Once king with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyaragith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parlay. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes... A sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free! Chuck. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. Soon. When the comet has risen, when the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust, I miss this place. More to the point, I miss you. 
I wouldn't even deny it with Vlackett's vocal blade at my neck. Though, I'd rather it not come to that. Now go. Mingle a bit. That's the word, right? Mingle. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't keep me away. Ah, there you are. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. She did not. I'm delighted to report. She sought me out. Not long after, we went our separate ways, and assured me neither she nor the Orb should pose me any threat in the future. Of course, it's still in there. A constant reminder of my former hubris, and a surprisingly effective means of keeping my more disobedient students in line. Perhaps a tad too effective. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But, It'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Illusory magic has the power to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all. Imagination. Unfortunately, in that respect, some of my apprentices seem to be rather... lazy. Oh, they try their best, of course, when they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them! Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? From you, I'd expect nothing less. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Well, I, for one, can't wait. And I say with some confidence, neither can they. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. to return to familiar environments. Oh, right. You. Hello. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. 
You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute, isn't that right? Well done. Despite my old friend's genius. He'd have blown himself up long ago if not for the help of friends like you and I. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. Mm -hmm. uh, this seems pretty red, but ugh, no, not even close. Perhaps the bard knows some of my favorites. Unless my taste in music is too antique, of course. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Baldur's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? Thou givest thyself so little credit. The duty borne by you was great. You could have well shirked. Thou gavest what it was possible to give. The realm continues for your sacrifices. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you. <laughs> there thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. 
But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flares. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. 